Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Danielle LaRocca and I do special effects and body paint. In today's video, I'm going to be working on a look for my 31 days of Halloween and I'm going to be turning myself into a creepy doll using some prosthetics, bald cap, some other stuff too. Throughout this video, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my family down below. I would love to have you as part of my special effects family. And also don't forget to check out my social media. It'll be listed in my description box below and it will also pop up right down here for you guys. Please be sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok because for my 31 days of Halloween, I'm obviously gonna be posting all 31 days of October. And I first and foremost always post my still shots to Instagram and I list all the the products down in my description of Instagram. And then on TikTok, I do fun videos and stuff like that. So it would be really cool for you guys to check out the looks actually in motion. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. I started off by pulling my hair into a bun because I am going to be using a bald cap for this look. So I would say it's about in the middle of my head and um, I'm actually going to secure it with some bobby pins just so I get everything sticking down the way that I want it to. We're not going to be blocking out the eyebrows today because I actually have a doll prosthetic that I'm actually super excited about. So I ordered this from MostlyDead.com. I love MostlyDead.com. Um, it's where I buy pretty much all of my prosthetics. I think they're super great quality and they can get a little bit pricey, but sorry, I'm opening the package so you can see it. It always comes with instructions if you don't know how to do this or if you're doing it for your first time and then it comes on this, it kind of rests on this little cardboard piece and this is a foam latex prosthetic. So if you're not familiar with prosthetics, pretty much what that means is this is ready to go. Um, what I like to do is, you know, within the making of this mask, um, there's baby powder and stuff like that. So I'm going to clean it off with some 99% alcohol. Just give it a light little rub. You don't need to trim anything. These outer pieces, if you can see, this is called the flashing. You don't need to cut that off. This is actually where you blend the edges to make it look realistic. So, and then you seal the mask and then you can paint it with uh, rubber mask grease, which is like a cream based product. You can use alcohol paints, which I'm probably gonna be doing a little bit of both. So I'm not gonna get into too much detail on how to actually do it you can just see how i do it and then stay tuned for future videos because i will have an announcement coming up probably at the end of the year for something that i've been working on and for those of you who ask questions on how to do certain things for special effects you're gonna want to stick around okay i just went off camera and i cleaned off my latex prosthetic and I actually cut, I did cut a little bit of the flashing just so that it will fit my eye shape a little bit better, which you can totally do that. That's completely fine. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to start doing this doll makeup. I'm going to speed up the video in like time lapse form and then I will probably voice over what I'm doing just so you guys can see and understand what I'm doing or I'll type it down below. Starting off with some Vaseline, I am slicking back my hair and I find that it makes the bald cap stick a little bit better. You can see me here positioning it, getting it just right where I want it to lay. Taking some Mayron liquid latex on a disposable paintbrush, I begin 
gluing down the bald cap and I do this in sections, starting with the forehead and then the sides of the face. Then on a ripped up sponge, I am stippling that same liquid latex all around the edges. This makes the bald cap lay flat and it also blends the edge of the bald cap. I have a little handheld fan that comes in handy. Next, I'm taking some Elmer's Purple Glue and I'm blocking out my eyebrows, even though I said in the beginning that I wasn't going to do this, I changed my mind. Taking that Mayron Color Set Powder and going over my eyebrows. Now that the bald cap is dry from the latex, I'm also taking the color set powder and powdering all around my bald cap as well. Taking a brush and brushing off that powder as well. Now I'm taking some Prosade and I am putting it on my nose and with the Prosade you want it to dry and get clear and tacky, that way the foam latex prosthetic can actually stick. So here you see me starting with the nose, pressing it down, making sure it's in place. I then lift the foam latex prosthetic and I begin to take the prosade on the top of my lip. Again, letting it dry. I realized when I first got this mask that I did cut some holes in it, but they weren't big enough. And now that it's on my face, I couldn't really breathe very well. So that's just what I'm doing here. I took some cuticle scissors and I made the nostril holes a little bit bigger. I also took the prosade on the sides of my face and glued those down as well. Again, working in sections. And now the base of my neck or chin area. Taking some Mayron liquid latex again, now I am putting it all over my prosthetic. This helps, again, the edges to blend, making sure that no spots are missing. You want it to completely cover the edges of your prosthetic. Taking some prosade again on a disposable brush, I'm putting the prosade around my eye sockets so that the latex will sit a little bit tighter around my eyes. Doing the same to the top because you want everything to fit well. Taking that powder again. This is a colorless powder and it's from Mayron. Just covering the latex and brushing it off. Taking my white body paint, I am then painting the whole entire prosthetic. With foam latex, you don't have to seal it if you're using water activated paints. So I'm going over the cracks and I'm just doing my whole entire face and I'm at this point leaving the lips open because I am going to paint the lips in a different color later. Continuing the paint down 
my neck. Now I'm taking a black body paint and I'm just going through the cracks, kind of extending some of the cracks in certain areas, making it my own, not necessarily following the lines of the cracks. You can, but I wanted to just do a little bit more detail so you can see some of them I extend as I go. Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I'm using a light pink and creating a eyeshadow for the doll makeup. I wanted to keep it a pink theme just because it's a little bit more girly and dolls usually have pink. I'm also using the same color and creating blush. Going in with some more black body paint, I am making sure that my eye sockets are completely blacked out. Then also taking some Urban Decay waterline in the color Legend and filling in my waterline. I then take a pink body paint and start outlining the lips. And as you can see, I did cut the lips open to this prosthetic. Taking a little bit of white body paint, I'm trying to create a little bit of highlighting, making it her, or making the doll face looking more like glass. Going back with the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, I'm just taking a light brown and creating some contouring around my nose. I think contour around nose is super important when creating a character look. Going in with the James Charles palette, I'm just taking a black eyeshadow. bought these lashes from Spirit Halloween and it's the Corpse Bride Lash Set. I was going to use this for a previous look but I didn't so I decided to use it for this doll makeup. So this doll makeup is going to have bottom and top lashes. I also wanted to take some black body paint and make my own cracks on my neck so that's what you can see me doing here. darker purple body paint, I start to create the doll's outfit. I wanted to keep it in the pinky kind of purple family and here you can see me creating a bow or a tie on the dress. Taking the paint all the way down my shoulders and arms being really careful around the bow that I just created. It's great if you have different size brushes so that you can go in and get the best detail that you can. When I start to do the ribbon, I do switch to a smaller detail brush. And then here I'm taking some black eyeshadow and creating a shadow, making it look like that I'm actually wearing the dress and I do that around the bow as well. Taking a liquid black eyeliner, this one is from NYX, and I'm just outlining the bow that I had just created. I'm outlining every single section of this bow to make it stand out a little bit more, going around the collar as well.
Taking a blonde wig that I previously had and the look is pretty much complete. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you stay tuned for my 31 days of Halloween. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my family. It would really help me out and I would love to have you as part of my special effects family. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.